single economic impact study that you look at shows California gaining more than any other state, shows the jobs in the hundreds of thousands, and it shows the dollar impact in the billions, not millions. This is a game changer. The reason we want these people to come here is for jobs. This is, this is something that we haven't seen before since, since before Silicon Valley. It just makes sense. We picked the Cal UAS region as where we want to test our UAVs because this desert area, the high desert in California, has been the home of every pioneering aviation milestone that really has ever happened. The reason it stands out to me as far as why this should be designated as a test site for UAS is the same reason that the Navy Department and Caltech chose this site in the early 40s for the development of rockets. We're right next door to the two premier facilities in the United States that have been doing this type of testing for 50, 60 years. One of them is the China Lake Naval Weapons Center and right down the road we have NASA Dryden. Every Air Force fighter plane that has ever entered service has been tested here. We are right in next to um, Edwards Air Force Base, for example, the site of the first space shuttle landing. Um, we're nearby Mojave Airport, and we cooperate with them, where Spaceship One was the first spaceship created by civilians to make a non-NASA person an astronaut. Industry worked with Congress and said, hey, you need to open up the sky so that we can test these unmanned systems in the same airspace for commercial applications. And so Congress worked with the FAA and what resulted was this bit of legislation. And it was part of the FAA Modernization and Reform Act and it directed the FAA to name six sites across the country where they could do research and testing with an eye toward figuring out how to safely integrate these commercial unmanned systems into the national airspace. A lot of people think of drones as just military only and for sure the military was out of the gates first with UAV technology, but the civilian applications actually outweigh the military in the new economic impact reports and studies that have been done. We're talking about small things from the size of a little model helicopter on up to medium-sized aircraft that potentially could be flown manned, however they've been converted to be unmanned systems, and they're not for military purposes necessarily, but for agriculture, law enforcement, education, environmental, Forest Service could use them. There's unlimited ways that these systems could be used to save money. Instead of flying manned aircraft like helicopters that cost thousands of dollars an hour, you can fly one of these unmanned systems for pennies an hour. So we decided to put in a proposal to the FAA with Inukern as the hub, um, but we decided that we wanted some partners. And so we started talking to airports in the region, we started talking to industry, we started working with academia, and we came up with the name Cal UAS to indicate an area that would have Inukern as the nucleus, but that would be bigger so that we could um, include our industry partners and academia in that. We teamed early on with uh, airports uh, that are near the coast and airports that are near other desert areas. For instance, San Diego County has other airports that could be used for flying these things in a desert environment. We've teamed with airports near the coast for flying out of those airports over the Pacific Ocean for maritime applications for search and rescue. We've got the mountains here, we've got the desert here, we have the restricted airspace, we have access to the coast over sparsely populated areas, so we think it makes sense for Inukern to be a hub for these uh, systems because we can access all of those kinds of environments. We are in the middle of nowhere. We have beautiful, pristine, remote, unencumbered, unencroached, Class E airspace. This is the perfect environment for doing this type of work. It's just a pristine area. We got sunlight 350 days a year. We've got mountains, we've got lakes, we've got uh, desert, we've got cold weather, we've got hot weather, we've got a mix of just about everything. We can basically replicate any area we want to on the planet, and it's all right here local. The other benefit of that is that it's a low population, but we can do urban events if we want to, but we also have wide open spaces so that the testing and evaluation that we can do, we can do in a safe environment. For people who need to come here and test UAVs and make sure that they're going to work perfectly in every environment, the, the climatic diversity that we get here in the high desert is completely unmatched. People perceive us as being out in the middle of nowhere, you know, but 
we see that as an advantage for everybody. It doesn't take very long to get anywhere you want, you know, the beach or the city or the mountains, and yet at the same time you can have the best environment in the country for flying aircraft. We've already started drawing together people who are fledglings in the industry, but who are doing some of that pioneering work. We've pulled them together, We've built a lab here at Inukern in an existing building, calling it the Cal UAS Lab. We have a great infrastructure here of uh, electrical and water and, and sewer and all of that for building new facilities. We've got several buildings here, large hangars and large uh, office buildings that are available right now that are beginning to be filled up with, uh, with tenants. And, uh, and yet we've got the, the possibility of, of building more because our land lease rates are very cheap compared to a lot of airports, especially in California. There are offices here. We've set up several offices. We've got a beautiful hangar that we conduct our flight testing out of. If any business should come here if you're involved in any way in the, in the unmanned space. Uh, specifically, small businesses do really well here. This area has been designated as an innovation hub by the state of California. We have tremendous political support, local support. So small businesses could really come and work under Cal UAS and out of Inukern Airport and thrive. Community leaders recognize that there's going to be a, a benefit from this business at Inukern and, and that, that Inukern is going to grow. For unmanned systems, the trade association is called AUVSI and they commissioned a report to see what the economic impact would be if the FAA allows unmanned vehicles into the national airspace. Every single economic impact study that you look at shows California gaining more than any other state. It shows the jobs in the hundreds of thousands and it shows the dollar impact in the billions, not millions. It is the, the, the wave of the future. The UAS is gonna be part of our lives from here on out. And Inukern needs to get in on the ground floor on that, and, and we are. We're beginning to do it here right now. So. There are over 4,000 new jobs to be created if the FAA selects this region, and Cal UAS in particular, to develop the rules governing how UAVs integrate in the national airspace in the future. This is a game changer. This is, this is something that we haven't seen before since, since before Silicon Valley. It's, it's going to put us on the map. The time is right, the time is now, the requirement is there, and, and what unmanned systems are going to do in the commercial sector, I don't think we can even imagine right now, just like we couldn't 20 years ago have imagined apps on our phone.